<laughs> yes. Oh, great, Carlos. Well, welcome. It's already seven. It's already, sorry, 12 past seven. So we're going to start with today's class. If that's okay for you, Carlos. Okay, great, Carlos. How was your weekend, Carlos? Sorry for uh, Fridays, but I had a few things to do, so. Oh, Carlos, I'm really sorry about that. Okay, but don't worry, we're going to continue with today's class. Wait, wait a wait a Okay, I'm sorry, Carlos, but I'm really, really glad that you could make it for today's class. It's going to be only you and me. So, we're going to start. Did you do your homework, Carlos?
Hello. Hello, Carlos, can you hear me? I'm really, really sorry. Hi, sorry, I got disconnected. So, where were we? Okay. We were here in this page, right? I was explaining to you, speaking naturally, can and can't, etc. Okay, let's continue now to the pages that we didn't bring. Okay, we didn't uh, check, sorry. Did you remember this, this homework? Carlos, did you do it? Yes, okay, can you tell me what what languages and countries did you or could you add to the chart? Okay, I can speak Spanish, a little English, a little Italian, a little Japanese. I can speak Korean, Russian, Chinese, Arabic, etc. Okay, so where would you want to go? What countries? I want to go to South Korea, to Italy, to Japan, to German, to Germany, to Spain, and the U.S. Okay, very good. Let's continue then. Well done, Carlos. So, let's go to listening and speaking. National dishes. Do you like food from other countries? What kind of food do you like? Tell the class. Listen to Melissa talk about food. What types of food does she like? Check the boxes. And we have French food, Korean food. What else? Italian food, Chinese food, etc. Okay? So let's listen to them. Let's listen to the audio. And first, go to the page. It's page 89. Okay? Go to the page. And tell me when you're ready so I can play the audio. Ready, excellent, okay, let me open, oh, sorry, wrong file, let me open the audio. 89, 2, listening and speaking, national dishes, B, listen to Melissa talk about food, what types of food does she like, check the boxes. Do you want to go out for dinner tonight? Okay. Where do you want to go? Oh, anywhere. I like anything. What do you like? Well, 
I like Japanese. That's one of my favorites. Yeah, me too. But the Japanese restaurants around here are kind of expensive. That's true. Well, how about Italian? I love Italian. Yeah, but I eat Italian food a lot. Let's try something different. I know. How about Brazilian? Do you like Brazilian food? Mmm. I don't know Brazilian food. What's it like? It's really good. There's a new Brazilian restaurant on 45th Street. That's kind of far away. Let's see. Oh, I know. We can go to that French place. I like French food. So do I. But they don't really give you a lot of food there. And I'm hungry. Can you eat spicy food? How about Korean food or Thai? Hmm. I don't know Korean food at all, or Thai food, really. Oh, I don't know. Well, there are a lot of good Chinese restaurants. Chinese? Hmm. I like Chinese. That's always good. Wait, there's a really good Mexican place near here. Maybe let's just let's just go there. Okay. I can always eat Mexican food. I love it. And then I can practice my Spanish. You speak Spanish? Well, I speak good restaurant Spanish. <laughs>
and Mexican food. Very good. Okay, but no, it's not I like, it's she likes. Okay, because it's about her. It's she likes. Okay, very good. Oh, sorry, I have. Okay, 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 don't worry. Say, pay work. Ask and answer questions about international foods. Add your own ideas. Do you like French food? Can you make Korean food? Where can you get good Italian food around here? So I'm going to ask you and you're going to answer to me like the example in the listening, okay? Do you like French food, Carlos? Now I'm talking about you. Now it's it's about you. Sorry. Now it is about you. Do you like French food, Carlos? I don't know French food. Okay, now it's your turn to ask, to ask Carlos. You have to ask me the next one. Can you uh, can you make Korean food? Um, no, I can't. Where can you get good Italian food around here? Where can you get good Italian food around here? No, I don't. I can make Korean food. It's sad, but it's true. Piaggi, right? <laughs> Just kidding. Yeah, but it actually is kind of good, right? Carlos, you didn't tell me. You haven't told me where can I get good Italian food. In pizza, sh in a pizza shop, maybe. Ah, oh, could be. Okay. Do you want to ask me something, Carlos? Oh, okay, yes. I don't know what's really wrong with this internet. You know, I've been having this problem with the internet, but um, I was checking with another, you know, another company for the internet service, and they told me that they really can, like, ensure me that I had, like, a good service, because here in this area where I am, we don't really have fibra optica. 
so internet is a goes through I don't know what kind of um, a, a technology or how it enters to our house to this home but I think that we need fibra optica but it's something that I don't know the companies or the government has to do and we don't really have here in this part of Renacimiento where I live so it's kind of like you know kind of like oh my gosh because I've been like having that problem like for a very long time and the guy in the company told me oh you're going to still having that problem and I said like why because you don't really have a uh, here so uh, you really needed to have a good service of internet that's why you don't have a uh, quality internet so probably it's my internet or probably it's your internet we don't really know but well Let's continue with the countries and nationalities. We have there Japan, Spain, Mexico, Peru, and we have some nationalities, right? Like Japanese, Spanish, Mexican, Peruvian, and we have the survey. Do your classmates know a lot about other countries and cultures? Ask any questions to find out. Who is a world citizen? And we have here a reading. Find someone who can make Indian food, has American friend, can speak three languages. What are they? Likes Brazilian music, knows the capital of Australia, can name three countries beginning with C, and knows the name of a British band. So we're going to make this. I'm going to ask you and you're going to answer me, okay, Carlos? Because we don't really have like another classmate to do it. So I'm going to ask you the questions and you're going to answer to me. Okay. Can you make Indian food, Carlos? Okay. No. Okay. You don't. Do you have an American friend, Carlos? Do you have an American friend, Carlos? Yes, you have one. Okay, what is his name? What's his name? What's his or her name? Sorry. Anel Urbina. Okay, very good. Can you speak three languages? Well, I speak little English, Japanese, and Italian. Wow, very good, Carlos. You are making that up now, right? You're not making that up. I mean, like, if you're inventing it now, right? Okay, that's great. Okay, so do you like Brazilian music, Carlos?
No, I, you don't like. Okay, very good. Do you know the, the capital city of Australia? Do you know the capital city of Australia? No, you don't know. Okay, very good. Can you name three countries beginning with C? Canada, Chile, and Costa Rica. Very good. Do you know the name of a British band? Oh, this is an easy one. of a British man. Hey, very good. Is there another band? Nah. <laughs> okay. Let's continue then. Yes, there is an. Okay, so it's vocabulary notebook. People and nations. Okay, if you hadn't done this, then go ahead. You're going to make this as a homework. Okay, this is going to be as a homework. Oh, sad face. Don't be sad. Okay. Let's continue. Says, they're, they're kind of a candy. Conversation strategies. Conversation strategy. Explaining words. Circle the correct word to complete the sentence. Coffee is a kind of food. Coffee is a kind of drink. A dance or a music. What is coffee? It's a kind of drink, right? So what you what we're going to do is that we're going it's a kind of it's the meaning of es como o es un tipo de that it's uh it's a kind of so we're going to listen, or you're going to listen, the following audio. And, sorry. So it's now listen what Yuki and Adam order. We're going to listen to this audio, what Yuki and Adam order, okay? And then we're going to do 
the following exercise. Let's listen. A kind of candy. One. Conversation strategy. Explaining words. Listen. What do Yuki and Adam order? Are you ready to order? Yes. Can I have a large diet soda? A large diet soda? Yes, please. Um, can I have coffee ice cream with chocolate sprinkles? Sure. Okay. What are sprinkles? They're a kind of candy. You can put them on things like ice cream and cake. They're kind of like sugar. Oh, I know. You can get them in Japan, too. Okay, let's listen again to the conversation. A kind of candy. One. Conversation strategy. Explaining words. Listen. What do Yuki and Adam order? Are you ready to order? Yes. Can I have a large diet soda? A large diet soda? Yes, please. Um, can I have coffee ice cream with chocolate sprinkles? Sure. Okay. What are sprinkles? They're a kind of candy. You can put them on things like ice cream and cake. They're kind of like sugar. Oh, I know. You can get them in Japan, too. Okay, let's go to our let's go to our exercise. It says notice how Adam uses a kind of and a kind of like it's explaining a new word to Jockey. Uh, sorry, to Jockey. Find samples in these conversations and we have here what are sprinkles? They are kind of candy. Do you have any other example? Do you have any other example from the conversation? They're kind of like sugar. Okay, very good. Is there in a is there another example? Or is that all? No. Okay, very good. Now, let's go to the following exercise. It says, match each picture with an explanation. Then take turns asking a partner, okay? You're going to do it with me because we don't have another partner right now. Match each picture with an explanation. Then take turns asking a partner to explain the word. And we have Yasi from India. Abu 
Bosuki from Greece, a handbook from Korea, and a tortilla from Mexico. Okay. Which one? Which one would you like? What, Carlos? You're laughing about my tortilla? Or what? Okay, first you have to match explanation, okay? I'm going to ask you and you're going to give me the answer. Okay. Oh. What is Yassi? Carlos, what is Yassi? It's a kind of drink, it's a kind of like a milkshake. Ah, very good. Now, what, what is it, a bosuki? What is it, a bosuki? Number two. What is it, a bosuki? Don't wear bosuki. It's a kind of musical instrument. It's like a guitar. Okay, very good. What is it? A handbook. 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 What is it? A handbook. It sounds weird. What is it? A handbook. It's a kind of dress. It's a traditional outfit. Very good. And for the last one, what is it a tortilla? kind of a bread. It's kind of like a pancake. Whoa, that is weird, right? <laughs> you think that it's weird? I wouldn't explain tortilla like that. But anyways, right? When I, when I write a book, I will remember not to explain tortilla like that. <laughs> you too, you do the same. When you write your own book, remember just not to explain tortilla like that. Because it's weird. Okay, let's continue. Okay, what is it? What? Nasty. Okay. Now, let's go to our next page. Oh, Carlos, it's only you today. Oh, no, it's somebody here. Jaime, why are you so quiet? 
Good evening. Good evening, Jaime. How are you today? We're just telling Carlos that we were alone until you came until you came into the into the class, of course. That's good, so we won't feel alone again. <laughs> Hello, Jaime. It's good to see you here. It's good to have you here. Okay, let's continue with this. Um, let's continue with this, with this explanation, okay, with this topic. So, say strategy plus, you can use, Carlos, that's good. Okay, you can use like to give examples. And we have there, you can put sprinkles on things like ice cream and cake. Okay, he's explaining what is it like, um, the sprinkles, and how to use it. Like is one of the top 15 words and it has other meanings. I like Brazilian food, what it's Thailandia, Thailand like, the sprinkles are like sugar. So you see that it has different meanings. Let's continue then. Says, imagine a tourist asking these questions about your country. Answer the questions, then practice with a partner. Okay, I'm going to give you five minutes to answer these questions. If you finish in less than five minutes, let me know, okay? But I'm going to give you five minutes so you can answer these questions. And then we will compare with a partner. Now that you do have a partner, so that's good. Okay, let me know when you're ready so we can give answer to this exercise together.
Okay, almost ready. Okay, ready? No, okay, okay. Okay, guys, you ready? Remember that I'm just letting you know. Uh, sorry, I'm just 
letting you so you can tell me when you're ready. Okay, Carlos is okay. I was about to tell, to tell you. Okay, Carlos is ready. Are you ready, Jaime? But Jaime is not longer here. Okay, Carlos. What are good souvenirs to buy? Well, things like. Okay, number one, Carlos. What are good? I. What are good souvenirs to buy? Well. Things like necklace, caps, or posters. Autographies. Okay, very good. Do you ever see people in traditional clothes? Well, you sometimes see things like dresses and skirts ordered, okay, order. Mm, it would be, um, it, order is like, the end of a country. It's embroidered in like bordado. It's embroidered, embroidered like that. <clears throat> country, the border, y embroidered is bordado, eh, when you sew. Okay, very good. Okay, is the food spicy like Indian food? Is the food spicy like the Indian food? Yes, the Mexican food is very spicy, very good. Where are good, where are good places to visit? Where are good places to visit? Like Acapulco, very good. Cancun and Puerto Vallarta. In Puerto Vallarta, beach, beach, port. Los puertos, places like Aca or you can just say like that. Places like Acapulco, Cancun and Puerto Vallarta, like that. 
then you can visit Chichen Itza or the Pyramid del Sol. So those are good places to visit. Okay, very good. Those are esos. Those are good places to visit. Okay, let's continue. It says listen and speaking. What languages is it from? Label the photos with the words below. Can you guess what languages the words came from? Complete the chart. And we have, it's called yogurt, and the word is from, it's called, and the word is from, it's called, and the word is for, it's from, and it's mosquito. Oh, sorry. And it's, and the word is from, okay. Type your answers here, Carlos. I mean, it's, no, it's nobody else here, so you can, you are free to type your answers here in the chat for this, for this uh, exercise.
Okay. This it's called the word it's from Turkey. Number two. It's called boutique and the world is from the word is from France and it's called world and the word is from Germany. Okay, and the number four is the mosquito. The mosquito. You have to guess, okay, Carlos? You don't need to look for them on the internet. You just guess. No, Jaime is not here. This colored mosquito in the world is from Mexico. Okay, so now listen to more of Adam and Yuki's conversation and check your guesses. Let's check your guesses, Carlos. And speaking, what language is it from? B. Listen to more of Adam and Yuki's conversation. Check your guesses. 1. We use a lot of English words in Japanese. Do you use a lot of foreign words in English? Yeah, there are hundreds and hundreds. For example, look at your smoothie. It has yogurt in it. Yogurt? Yeah, yogurt. That's a Turkish word. Turkish? Really? Yes. So now I can say I like Turkish food, huh? Yep. Two. Okay, tell me another one. Well, you see that small store over there? The clothing store? Yeah. Well, it's also called a boutique. Oh, yeah? So a boutique is a kind of store. So what language is it from? Is it Italian? No, it's French. It's the French word for store. So that's why boutiques are expensive. They're French. Three. And then there's waltz. That's another foreign word we use. What's a waltz? How do you say it? Waltz? Yeah, waltz. It's a kind of dance, a slow dance. Oh, okay. Well, anyway, it comes from German. You speak some German, right? Um, well, only a little. I mean, I can say my name and I can say I can't speak German very well. Oh, <laughs> that's funny. Four. Ow, I hate mosquitoes. But they love you, huh? Yeah, they look at me and they see dinner. There's another foreign word. What, dinner? <laughs> no, mosquito. What is it? It sounds like a Mexican word, like burrito. Well, it is Spanish. Oh, yeah, they speak Spanish in Mexico. Carlos, you did get most of the words. I actually, I I believe that you look for the words on, on internet. Okay, free talk, where in the world? Okay, this is an exercise for you to talk with somebody. So let's continue. Say, 
exciting destination. Read it. What do you know about these popular tourist destinations? What can you do or see there? Make a class list. And we have London, Tokyo, San Francisco, and Rome. Okay, can you tell me things that are popular in these countries? Hello, Carlos. Can you tell me things that are popular there? Okay, the world, the world, what? San Francisco, okay, one more time. London, Palacio de Buckingham, or Buckingham Palace, and the Big Ben. Tokyo, Odaiba, Odaiba, and Itri. Okay, I really have no idea what is it. San Francisco, the Golden Gate. Oh, very good. Roma. El Coliseo and the Coliseum and the San Pedro Church Basilica. Okay. Ah, okay, okay, okay. E3, I was like, E3, okay. I, I really have no idea what is it. Okay, let's go to the exercise B. Look at the web page and tell us how many of your ideas are mentioned. And we have here the travel guide. Go on a virtual tour. Are you planning a trip to one of these popular destinations below? Check out our guide to these great cities. You know the famous places, but with the travel guide, you can see and do something initial. Click on the link below. And we have some examples there, right?
there is it. You cannot see it complete, but you can see it in your in your own in your own book. Okay, so I'm going to give you ten minutes to read the reading on page ninety two. Okay? Ten minutes. So you can read the the reading or the article or just read it and tell me when you are ready. minutes yes it's a lot but if you need less than 10 minutes that would be more than just wonderful Carlos okay
Okay, Carlos, let me know when you're ready. Okay, you are ready. Let's continue to the next exercise. There are the questions for this reading. Okay, so it's look at the web page again. Find these things and answer the questions. Then compare with a partner. And we have find the link for two competitions. What can you win? Digital camera and a trip to Hawaii. Very good. Two other kinds of information. Why is it the information useful? Okay, why is the information useful? Ahí no entiendes. Ok, two other kinds of information. Why is it information useful? Ok. Let's do the reading. Ok, here we have. Need some help? Our trip expert can help you out to find your ideal vacation. Do you have a good travel trip? Tip? Sorry. 
Share your stories on message boards. Click here for world weather. For exchange rates, click here. And do you have an initial photo of a popular tourist attraction? Enter a, a photo. Okay. This maybe it's not um, important information. Nor the travel competition, but for example, uh, do you have a good travel trip and need some more help? Those are the ones that the question is referring to. When it says, um, why is information useful? Why is it useful? Ah, oh, because it can be used like, for example, sharing tips with other, I don't know, if you travel to, for example, to Acapulco, right? You've been to Acapulco and you know or you have like an experience here, or a bad or good experience, and someone else, and you see that someone else is kind of like, you know, lost, but they want to travel to Acapulco, then you can type your experience or you can type your tip to that people so they can have a good time in Acapulco, okay? That is the other information or the fair rate. Are the exchange rate, sorry, for the yen or the dollar or the Canadian dollar here in Acapulco for pesos. Now, the place to send your own travel tip. Do you have a good travel tip? Okay, that is related to the other question. Do you have a, a travel related tip? On the message board. Uh huh, on the message board. Very good. Two so places you want to read more about. What do you want to know? Okay, Carlos. London about the Hampton Buildings, Tokyo about about Insa. Ah, very good, very good. Talk about it. Do you want to take a trip? What ideas do you and your classmates love about travel? Can you agree on three countries you all want to go? The three best places to visit in your country? Three tourist attractions you want to see? Three types of food you all want to try? Two languages you need when you travel abroad? And three really good souvenirs to buy? Okay. Well, we're not going to do that. Instead, we're going to write, to do a writing. A paragraph for a web page. For a web page, sorry. 
write about a place you know well for the travel guide world web page. And we have here an example, Bangkok. Bangkok is famous for its palace, its palace, sorry, temples and beautiful river. First go to the Grand Palace, then visit the many historic temples after your tour to the city. You can take a boat trip on the river, you can enjoy the sunset, and then see the temples by night. And here we have a health nut, says commas in list. It's lively, comma, colorful, comma, and fun. Enjoy beautiful waterfalls, comma, bonsai trees, comma, and plants. Okay, this is for you to remember that in English, even though we are using and, we're going to use the comma too. Not like, for example, in Spanish that we say like, lively, comma, colorful, and fun. Not in English, we have to say, it's, li it's lively, comma, colorful, comma, and fun. And fun, sorry. Okay, Carlos? Use this as a model. Yes, that is the only oh, that is the only point that they have not want you to to remember when writing. Okay, use this excerpt or this writing from Bangkok as an example. Okay, Carlos, and write your own here in the chat.
San Marcos. San Marcos is famous for its bread, lagoons, and rivers. First go to the Tecomate, Pesqueria, then visit the San Marcos Evangelista Church. After your tour visit, you can take a boat trip in the lagoon. You can enjoy the sunset in the principal park or in the church park. Oh, excellent. Nicely done. Nicely done. Very good, Carlos. Okay. Let's continue on to the next page. Says vocabulary. Vocabulary notebook. People and nations. And we have here the learning tips. This is your homework. Yes, here we have some countries and nationalities. We have Argentina and... Argentina, Australia, Brazil, Canada... China, Colombia, Ecuador, Iraq, Ireland, Israel, Italy, etc. Okay? Those are some countries and nationalities. Says choose 15 or more nationalities you want to learn. Write them in the chart. And here we have the ending. Vietnamese, yes. Colombian, I. A N A N or just N Ish Spanish and other great It's about the ending. Es acerca de la terminación de la palabra. For example, here we have is I A N. This is other because it doesn't follow a rule in Spanish. Ish. Like Turkish, etc. Okay? Complete the chart with different countries. How many countries can you think of each region? And we have the countries, uh, the, sorry, the regions Africa, Asia, Asia, Europe, North America, Central America, and South America. I guess that right now, ah, oh, okay, Carlos. I guess that right now we only do it like. It's like North America and South America, right? There is no Central America anymore, right? Say so fine on your own. Find a word map, label it in English. How many countries do you know? Okay, excellent. Very good, Carlos. I was just actually doing it. Okay, questions and follow-up questions. This is a checkpoint, Carlos, okay? So, there is questions and follow-up questions. Complete the questions with the verbs, then match the questions and answers. Okay, we're going to do this part. There is, what are you wearing today? Wear a... We're going to do it, like, really, really fast here. Wear D, jean and sweater. Okay, what color is the teacher today? What is the question, Carlos? We're going to give an answer to this thing. What is the question, Carlos? Okay, what would be the question, Carlos? What?
What color is the teacher wearing today? Okay, and... F, okay. F. Blue and gray. Very good. Okay. Blue and gray. Number three. What in your neighborhood this week? Happening. What happening in your neighborhood this week? No, it's what happened in past tense. Es en pasado. This week. What happened in your neighborhood this week? Yes, what happened in your neighborhood this week? Uh, oh, sorry, and the answer is? And the answer is, Carlos? Carlos, hello, hello. Oh, no, sorry. What is going to happen? You have to use going to. Sorry, I thought that it, that it said last week instead of this week. What is going to happen? I don't see. Oh, okay. Sorry, Carlos. What is going to happen? Hey, there is a concert. Okay, there is it. Okay, we're going to stop here, uh, Carlos.